Today's Saturday, the 11th of February 2023, and uh, we've come down to the town of Campos, which is uh, quite far east for us in Mallorca. Uh, but they have a market on a Saturday, so it's always interesting to have a look at the different markets that are available. So, without further ado, Anita's going to get some flowers. And we'll go and have a look to see what's going on. So, the part of the market that we start at is the fruit and vegetables and a great choice of them but Anita heads straight for the flowers and uh, we're not using our bus passes today we've, we've actually caught the well come in the car because uh, we've had a lot of little jobs to do today so it's uh, more convenient for us to come in the car so Anita's we've got the car fairly close so Anita can buy some flowers and just uh, nip back and put them in the car but uh, not just uh, flowers there's lots of uh, potted plants here so potted plants and cut flowers so you pay your money and you'll take your choice dear so she's <laughs> and there's no point asking me what color they all look very pretty. I need to try to do a deal. Not doing very well at it at the moment. See what money she's got. One more. One more. There you are, she gets Thank every you. last cent out of me. <laughs> right, and he's going to put those in the car. I'll just start heading down that way a little bit. You can catch up with me. So, more fruit and vegetables on this side. All beautifully presented. What time have we got? Uh, we've arrived here. It's actually quarter past 12, so it is actually getting quite late in the day for markets. They usually start quite early. You've got a bag of Brussels sprouts there. They're not usually easy to find. And uh, just opposite that, we've got the uh, stall, which has got the different sausages and the sobrasada, which I like when it's ho homemade sobrasada. That's uh, sobrasada casera. And then a uh, great choice of cheeses and honeys, dried fish, and uh, the acetunas, the olives and pickles as well. And over there we've got the chicken, which we ne never did manage to get that chicken, uh, so that's on our list of things. But not today, because we're going to see our son and his children today, and so we don't need anything like that. More olives here on the left and the weather's changed. The sun's come out and uh, it seems to have settled down quite a lot and it's warm. So I'm all wrapped up. Perhaps I don't really need to be. The usual clothes sellers. This is quite a big town. Campos is quite quite a big town, and uh, the market um, certainly later on in the year will get even more extensive than it is today. So we'll just see how it goes as we walk down. Some more flowers down here that Anita's not even seen yet. Oh dear. to walk too fast because she's got to catch up with me but while we're waiting we can just have a look down the, the side streets which I always always find them very very interesting 
and these streets are all blocked off today because it's uh, market day so they put these posts up and uh, they prevent the cars coming down here so it's fully pedestrianized Notice the back, the zip's gone on my bag, so I do need another bag, but um, none of those are suitable for my purpose. I need a more of a rucksack carrying my camera gear. And the market goes on and on down the street there. Looks like there's some work going on in some of the buildings here. Just have a look to see where Anita is. Nowhere to be seen, of course. But she'll catch up. Market days generally bring, bring quite a few people in. They also bring tourists when the tourists are here. And it looks as though the tourists are going to start arriving in big numbers um, from next month, from March. So I think we'll start to see lots, lots more people in these markets, a lot busier. And uh, people being uh, making a little bit more money, I suppose. It's all got to be good for our island. sign of Anita. You see the bar's doing really well though, so locals from all around will be coming in market day and uh, well, it's time to meet up with friends, time to stop off and have a coffee. It's getting close actually to lunchtime, so another one of the things on our agenda, stop off for lunch. Valentine's, which is coming up uh, next week. It really does feel very warm in the sun. I need to see a thermometer just to see what the temperature really is. But in the sun, it's very, very warm today. down there we've got church and the sign on the wall tells me that there is actually a museum to go with that church so I'm not sure that's for today but uh, certainly in the future I'll want to investigate that so 
One of my missions really is to visit the museums of Mallorca and where possible make a video. But, uh, museums here in Mallorca don't usually like you to take cameras in, videos in. So um, we'll have to wait and see. Busy, busy, busy today. I was saying that the uh, the number of tourists is going to vastly increase uh, next month, with, starting with the German market. Um, so that means this part of the island, really, because uh, we find a lot more Germans over east of the airport uh, in places like Playa de Palma and uh, all the way across to Cala Mayor, which is starting to open up, apparently, in March and uh, so we expect to see a lot more Germans here, with German travellers, people travelling from Germany. I have to be careful what I say there because a lot of uh, people in Germany write to me and say yeah we live in Germany but we're not German. So a lot of Brits live over there. Anita's way back there, way way back but she will catch up and I'll hang on a little bit for her. Here she comes, put everything in the car. Got my keys secure. Fair enough, let's go. Looking for me in red. Oh, I'm not in red today. Well, even out of season, it looks as though this market is quite extensive. And, and that's because really it's not catering solely for tourists, it's catering for local people as well. Another one of the side streets, that one's particularly pretty as well. Now, these palms are the ones that produce the poison so fruit, so be careful with those. Nice little plaza here. I'm guessing that's the Ayuntamiento, the town hall. And they will be celebrating uh, Carnival this week as well. There's some beautiful buildings here. Want to go for coffee now? Yeah. This is actually referred to as Plata Mayor. Well, we found somewhere nice and quiet for a coffee, except it's not very nice and quiet. There's a, <laughs> a lot of music and noise going on in the background. But we're in the Plata Mayor and we've got a cafe con leche and then we'll continue on our little walk around the, the market here in Campos. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that's good. Well, we'll now continue on our walk through the market here in Campos. Where well, it's disappeared to. So we've just been sitting in the shade and it does actually feel a lot cooler in the shade. You come out into the sun and it's just like day and night. Thing. Quarter to one bells going.
Culture Art at the Convent. That's another beautiful building. Lovely door, really like that. And very nice stonework at the columns on either side. People of Campos for the missionaries. Still more down here though. And as you walk down, you can look at the the different buildings that they've got here. Old mixed with new. Yeah, old balconies. And the balconies do protrude out here a lot into the street. You go down some of these very narrow streets and the balconies are nearly halfway across them. Some of the very, some of the streets are very narrow. Not built for cars, that's for sure. So, an artist here. Did visit the Juan Miro Centre. Interesting street. I do like these side streets. Something interesting. So all the way here, I was telling Anita that uh, Nicole Kidman has been staying here recently filming the series Lioness with Morgan. It's a series, no, it's a series. With Morgan Freeman. And uh, while she was staying here, uh, she was uh, living in a house which is the most expensive in Mallorca 65 million euros. 65 million euros it's on the market for but she didn't pay very much for rent either I bet <laughs> in fact Anita said I bet she was giving it um, and uh, in the hope that she'd either buy it or it would encourage other people to buy it but that's in Son Vida <laughs> Mallorca more and more becoming the, the film set of choice for many of the filmmakers. And uh, I'm just reading this morning that Mercedes uh, start this week going on for over a month, I think, is the presentation of their new electric vehicles. And uh, they're inviting two and a half, 25,000 delegates all over the world over the next uh, month, six weeks, uh, and they're coming to find out all about these uh, new electric cars. But there's lots of spin-offs to that because they've uh, obviously these people have got to come here and they're going to spend some money while they're here, and they reckon it's going to bring millions to the island uh, just this one event. And uh, another spin-off from that was that uh, the advertisements for this car and the, for the event were actually filmed here on the island. So that's another bit of the film industry that's been used. Lots and lots of adverts are, uh, are filmed here in Mallorca. It's a very popular destination for that. And quite often we see an advertisement come on the television and think, that looks familiar. <laughs> I've been there. And certainly for cars, we've got some long sweeping bends, great for riding and driving. So for those of you who uh, like the road down to Sacalobra, <laughs> part of the road's collapsed. Uh, there's been a bit of a, a landfall there, and uh, 
half of the road is now closed, um, or it's one side of the road is closed. And starting next week, they've got to start to repair all of that. Goulash soup. That sounds very German. So yes, yeah, so the work in Sacalabra on the road down uh, to Sacalabra uh, needs to start next week. It's quite urgent. The people who live down there say get it done quickly. So it's been put on the urgent and much must do list. Here are the bunyols being cooked. They look nice. And then just on the other side, we've got what now is interesting artisan type things and uh, we'll get to the second hand part of the market which is part I always get fascinated by people sell old tools all manner of things actually just before we go on to that side just we've got some barbecue stuff here and these are special cookers for paella and uh, you pay your pans go on there and people take them out outside and they cook outside and the grills over there are used for barbecues as well so go out into the country and make yourself a little fire and use one of those grills for cooking your food they're actually double-sided so you put the put the food in between them the fish or the meat in between you cook one side, you turn the whole grill over, cook the other side, and they work really well. <laughs> sí, gracias. El mejor, el mejor en, en Mallorca, ¿sí? <laughs> sí, sí. Todo, todas las cosas. Sí, sí. Bueno, gracias. Everything here you want for a gentleman. Ooh, it's very warm in the sun. Here we've got jewellery. And a saddle. Can't, can't say I know much about them though. Papá, llámalo. Papá. Corre que lleva papi. Corre, corre. Clary. Gloria. Oh, I'll, I love these sorts of things. I mean, look at that one. Eh? That is quite an amazing piece of kit. I'm, I remember my grandfather used to have them, but much, much smaller. Uh, but we used to use it for burning paint off before we, before we would paint a door. We would burn the old paint off and uh, paint uh, the new. There's the witch's cauldron for you. And look at those great bottles. They're really quite ornamental. I can imagine them looking quite beautiful on a terrace. Nice 
nice mortar and pestle now. Make sure they're a pair there. We've got another whole street to go down there. I've lost Anita, so I'm just going to go a little bit further down here to the end and then I'll make my way back up. Looking for any materials, then the market's a good place to find all sorts of different things. And then this is now real flea market stuff. Bicycles there, and now we're just at the the end. You can see there, we've got some bars open here, restaurants. We need to be having a look to see what we can have. Do I need a new hat? No, I'm quite happy with the one I've got. I quite like that black one over there. See Anita in the distance, but I want to head down this street here. She spotted me because this seems more uh, another one of the really old things, secondhand stuff. Just fascinating, really. Look at that, binoculars. And they seem to be zoom between 8 and 14 by 50. I must be one of the few people who carry a pair of binoculars in the car all the time. Some hand shears, Nita could do my hair with those. A selection of watches. Oh, you've been buying. You bought something nice. Yeah. Oh, and look there, you've got your. I think we have to get Charles to come down here. He might need that for his coronation. For Carnival, yes. So this is the week of Carnival and I hope I'm able to show you some uh, footage of uh, various things that are going on here in Mallorca for Carnival. It's, it's uh, perhaps started today or yesterday and uh, will be going on in all sorts of different parts of the island. Clothes. And there's a, a National Geographic magazine from October nineteen thirty two. October 1932. Wow. And one of the articles in there is Syria, a favoured vacation land. 1932. <laughs> doesn't want me to have the National Geographic. I quite fancied those, but... Now there's an interesting case, darling. Look at that. It's got something that comes out at the back. No, I don't want that either. <laughs> it's 
like it's homespun, doesn't it? Go up this side and come down the other, I think. A Life of Sir William Ramsay. Why have you got English books here? That's just curious, isn't it? Can you? Where can we put that? Where can we fit that in the house? Do you like that? I actually quite like it. I mean, not, not for us, but I do. Th I do quite like that. Some of the uh, stall holders now starting to to pack up. It's just coming up to one o'clock. So we were in the Miro Museum uh, last week. Um, yeah. I'm not sure that's my sort of art then. But I do like pen knives. Look there, a nice selection of pen knives. Stanley. <laughs> there you are, there's, there's the king's chair. We've seen his gown, now there's his chair, look. His throne, sorry. Always lots of religious type artifacts at places like this. Nice nurses in case you collapse. <laughs> 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 Now, actually, that's sort of an in between, isn't it? I would quite like those. Something you recognise within something you don't recognise. Yeah, those are a bit more interesting to me. Again, we don't have anywhere suitable in our house for that sort of artwork. More religious artifacts. set of beads with oh, a few ties. Where did you see this Stanley knife? Uh, All right. <laughs> 
I don't think it'll be a Stanley. I think, do you mean a Swiss Army knife? Uh, red. Swiss Army knife. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think there's quite a big German community on this side of the island, so I think you'll get people who actually live here or at least own properties here. And so we'll be here for holidays, vacations. Some pen knives there, but I don't think I'd call that a Swiss Army knife. Watches there. Not, I've got a couple at home, but I've never actually used a pocket watch. So we've walked all the way through the market now. I'm going to walk back a little way and uh, see if we can spy somewhere to have some lunch. After one o'clock now. old-fashioned scales here. We used to have some similar to that. Ours were, yeah, they were Salter. They seemed to make them with the name was, uh, the make of them was Salter scales. And they've got lost somewhere along the line. Lost in translation. <laughs> lost in something, dear. We never brought them to New York, so. Yeah, so uh, somewhere in the move they disappeared. shop here which I pointed out had got the barbecues and grills outside. It's a ferreteria, an ironmonger's and it's in a sort of a, a ruler sort of area so it will have all sorts of things here which are for farmers and gardeners, uh, people with small holdings. But, uh, I do like those um, paella cookers but I'll leave that to the children now they can cook, cook us a, a paella. There's a nice cross. These things sometimes you, you easily walk past them. It's a very nice cross in the middle of the village here, town. Yeah. 
Nix is going to investigate to see if they've got any tapas. Ah, well, we found somewhere where we can uh, have a drink and uh, we're going to order some food as well. Um, while we're waiting, cheers. Red wine, and I'm on the beer, I'm afraid. Well, one of our favourites for lunch is a Pepito de Lomo. And this one is with, it's an all singing and dancing version of the Pepito de Lomo. There's just layer upon layer of things in here. Yeah. So I'm sure it's going to be very, very tasty. So we've also ordered some patatas, patatas bravas, which are, well, patatas bravas are, I suppose, just like chips, really. Just a bit more thick and a bit more chunky. And uh, they come with two different sauces. So, how about that? Yep. Well, we really enjoyed that. That was uh, the grand total of 28 euros for both of us. That's the two Pepito de Lomos and the Patatas Bravas. Gracias. <coughs> um, I had two quite large beers. I need to have the red wine and the water. So I don't think you can go wrong for that at all. What have you found out? Every day they go to a different market. Every day. So Look, at seven o'clock in the morning. Somebody's left a genuine mm, painting. <laughs> well, I don't know what it is. We've had a lovely day morning in Campos. And we've really enjoyed the, the Pepito de Lomo, uh, but it's now time to make our way to look after our grandchildren for the afternoon. So that's going to be lots of fun. And watch the football. And watch the football, because Mioca playing. Cadiz. Sevilla. Sevilla. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.